We are go for astronaut load. How exciting is that? Let's check out the uh, let's check out the astronauts back in their Rivians here. There they are, ready to go to space. You see in the uh, back left that is Audrey Powers. In the front right, there's Chris. Smiles and waves. Smiles That's what and we waves. like to see. And there they go, Chris Bosshausen, Glenn DeVries, Audrey Powers, and Captain Kirk himself, William Shatner, have just started their journey to the launch pad, into the crew capsule, and off to space. You can just, I, I have goosebumps. I can feel I, their anticipation looking at the, oh. This is awesome. Words Look. of encouragement from Team Blue along the way. Absolutely, there to get the, the cheers and the, the hoots and the hollers from Team Blue. Once they pass, uh, they, they're going to drive about another couple hundred yards out to uh, towards in front of the mission control facility there. Get a couple more words of uh, words of encouragement that there, in fact, is their friends and family that have uh, that have flown down here to Texas to watch them go to space and back. And here they come, they are approaching our mission control center. And just on the right there, you can see what we call the barn. That is the facility where we keep our rockets. Of course, we've got the rocket out there on the pad, as well as the second rocket that flew just a couple of weeks ago. That one is dedicated to payload flights. It's really amazing to see all the demand we've seen for those payload flights to the point where we're able to have a full separate booster specifically dedicated to doing this important research in science. And you know, Jackie, one day we are going to combine those payloads and the astronauts to do some tended payload flights. Uh, just a, a wonderful opportunity for many scientists and engineers around the world who want to develop their technology. Maybe they don't need to go to orbital space. They just need a couple minutes of beautiful, clean micro G's, and that's what they get with these, uh, with these flights on New Shepard. Now you see the two vehicles have taken a left and they are on their road to space. Jackie, I can tell you from having done the, uh, the, the, uh, the astronaut training just a couple of months ago, so I got to do everything minus get inside of, uh, of a rocket that was up uh, on the launch tower. But we did all of this because we had to coordinate it, of course. Um, and that, the drive out there, there's, there's this, this interesting mix of adrenaline because you're, you're basically harnessing and, and, and containing your own adrenaline and you're trying to kind of level it out. But it's also very peaceful, right? It is this two mile uh, road that goes out to the launch pad, out to the rocket, and you're there with your thoughts. You know, I, I, these, these four astronauts have been thinking about going to space for a long, long time and this moment is here. I have to know what was on the playlist when you drove down the road to space. I know that mine would have an excessive amount of pit bull. I don't know if that's a little too hype for this experience, but hopefully they're listening to some Rocket Man or something. Yeah, exactly. Rocket Man was definitely on the uh, on the playlist as we as we head out there. Now, Jackie, once they uh, they head out the road to space, there is the ring road. Uh, that goes around the launch pad. They are going to go to the north end of the ring road and they're gonna stop 
and take a photo, take a couple of beautiful photos right before uh, the, uh, they get back in the, the Rivians, head back to the base of the launch tower where they will ascend the, the tower and stop in the safety shelter first. Yeah, and you can see a good view of that safety shelter right now. That's that white box on top of the launch tower. You can tell those that the, the pensive look they're all taking in taking in the moment uh, as they should. I can only can only imagine being in that. I movie. see all smiles from astronaut powers, so <laughs> that's very exciting. Have a good view of that ring road now, which is that circular ring surrounding the launch pad, as Ariane mentioned. There you go. They're checking it out. Now, from the training to cruising in your Rivians to the launch to the landing, this really is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. If you guys are watching out there and you want to be one of those astronauts on, on the way to space, really encourage you to visit Glorgen.com and click on Fly to Space. We'd love to see you on that rocket. And uh, let's be honest, frankly, we'd love to be on that rocket with you. <laughs> If you could put in your note that you specifically want to fly with Jackie and Ariane, maybe we'll, <laughs> we'll see what can be done there. The astronauts are getting out of their Rivian, getting those smiles ready for that Ring Road crew photo. And Ariane, like you've mentioned multiple times, New Shepard is alive at this point. That booster is just waiting for its crew and it's ready to go. On the yeah. right of this shot, you do see Sarah Knights, our crew member seven. She's going to accompany the crew uh, up to the tower and make sure they're situated in the capsule in just a little bit here. That is a good looking crew. 